What's up, everybody? I I hope you don't mind, but we doing doing a little break from the normal intro here. I just wanted to take a moment to just share some news that made me happy. Um, over the last week, uh, I had some uh, some friends reach out due to you know the the crypto pumping that was going wild over the last couple weeks. Um, they you know invested before the pump and after the pump they uh, you know when it did pump they, they made some pretty some pretty nice returns um, some money that's you know needed for folks who, you know with uh, with everything that's going on um, and that it just made me extremely happy um, so again yeah there's this this stuff can be helpful to people uh, it can be helpful to you uh, so as always if you don't quite understand it you know feel free to leave comments or you know share the video and talk about it with others who don't understand it, and then maybe that'll help um, grant a little bit of clarity for you even if you just made money by accident right <laughs> now it's time to figure out what's going on but again I'm not a fin financial advisor I'm just here to bring the news so without further ado let's get to it What up, people? So, uh, yeah, we're going to get into um, a little bit of an interesting article, and then we're going to talk about one of my favorite coins. We already talked about it in a video before, but um, I want to bring it up again just because I'm, I'm getting even more even more confident in that, um, in that coin. But... Before we get started here, remember I am not a financial advisor. I am just here to bring the news. Let's get it. So a blockchain-based VR world aims to take virtual reality to the next level. So blockchain project says it's taking virtual reality to the next level by creating the 3D internet, a world that is built and owned by the people who use it. It's VR stuff, man. True. Let's tie it together. The blockchain project says it offers the first massive multiplayer online open world boasting photorealistic graphics and virtual reality, a world built and owned by users. Victoria VR is designed to be a universal platform encompassing games and decentralized applications. The resulting metaverse is a shared virtual realm where people are free to do absolutely anything from playing games and trading goods Quests can be completed in order to gain, you know, access to rewards. Creativity is at the beating heart of this ecosystem. And players have the freedom to design their very own realistic avatar with exceedingly detailed levels of customization, according to Victoria VR. Billions of customizations are at the user's fingertips, and all avatars can express emotions with various animations that can convey their mood and reactions. Emote, emote, emote. Um, NFTs on your term, so this is going to be integrating NFTs as well. So Victoria VR also supports non-fungible tokens with a twist. Rather than merely serving as rare decorations, sorry if y'all hear my son. He tripping. He trying to get out of his crib. Hey. The project says NFTs on this platform. I'm gonna yell at them through the walkie talkie. Hold on, y'all. Hey, I'm trying to record a video. Can you chill? I think he actually listened, y'all. Wow. The project says NFTs on its platform have compelling use cases and deliver highly coveted advantages, giving players superpowers and other valuable resources. Another interesting twist comes in how NFTs can be modified and combined, or even created from scratch through its virtual reality. Inf so, hold on. There are superpower NFTs? Superpower? So I'm, I'm kind of against VR, y'all, but having superpowers? 
Anyway, <laughs> so this coupled with a 3D marketplace for NFTs that enables beautiful digital assets to be traded and explored like never before. To add to the immersive experience, 2D NFTs are even converted into 3D objects, literally taking them to another dimension. A VR gallery enables artistically minded members to publish their own works of art too. So you can go in this virtual world and draw, create art. Wow. And there's a plugin so, you know, people who don't have VR can play through, you know, internet browser. Wow. A virtual reality revolution. And the use cases don't end there. Oh, this 3D internet. I want to According to Victoria VR, a portal system means the ecosystem can connect to all VR projects, games, and worlds, creating a 3D internet like never before. This platform is also decentralized, autonomous organization, meaning it's completely controlled by its passionate community. That's deep, y'all. <laughs> Victoria VR. Anyway, getting to the good stuff now. VChain. I love me some VeChain. So VeChain got some enterprise level partnerships now, and these articles are kind of short, so I'm reading most of them. Um, if you if you don't want to hear it, you know, skip ahead, or you know, feel free to click one of the links in the description, bring you right to it. You can read it for yourself, but these ones are kind of short, so I figured I'd just burn through them. Real world partnerships and integrations into thriving industries are some of the best forms of validation for blockchain projects that are seeking long-term sustainability and widespread adoption. These also have the ability to spark rallies that trigger long-term price appreciation as brand awareness spreads. Since February, enterprise adoption and a wide array of use cases have worked in favor of VeChain, VET, a blockchain powered supply chain platform that seeks to use distributed governance in the Internet of Things technology to optimize supply chain management systems. Data from Cointelegraph Markets and TradingView shows that the price of VeChain has increased more than 400% over the past two months. VeChain been pumping, y'all. Now this article I believe was from the 12th, but VeChain has been pumping. So it's got collaboration. So it scrolls through the project's Twitter feed, shows the price's growth in 2021. So it's the VeChain Foundation, VeChain Official on Twitter. VeChain out here doing things, y'all. VeChain's technology has also been utilized on several projects that are managed by its partner DNV. DNV uses VeChain's blockchain solution to manage the data from projects with the Danish company Reci and the Norwegian industrial company Hydro. The increase in VET price and adoption since the beginning of February has also led to a 1000% increase in the price of the VThor token, which is used to pay for transactions with smart contracts on the network. Now remember, if you hold a VeChain in a Ledger wallet with the Sync app, you accumulate VThor just for holding. But you can also purchase um, or trade into uh, VThor. The positive benefits of these memberships were reflected in data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro, which shows that the market conditions for VET have been favorable for some time. So yeah, y'all, this is, uh, again, that's, I just wanted to talk a little bit about, you know, as we, they mentioned partnerships, but they didn't say anything. Take note to this symbol right here, CRM. Some of y'all in the corporate world or um, some of y'all who have businesses who move uh, products might be familiar with CRM. <laughs> Chicken and greens, more V-Chain y'all, sorry. This is from February, but I thought it was cool to throw this in here because it's gonna lead into this video that I'm gonna show y'all here. <clears throat> IBM's food tracking blockchain technology would be used for the Kerefue multinational retail firm to track food and supply lines from the farm to the store. 
an agreement between Majid al Fatihin, who lives here. I'm butchering names left and right, y'all. The firm that operates Kabahir in the Middle East and IBM. We see the retail giant use IBM Food Trust initially to track two food categories, chicken and microgreens. The IBM Food Trust is a blockchain specific platform designed for the food industry, hosted on the IBM Cloud. Kabahir which recorded $97 billion in revenue in 2019, will enable customers to scan QR codes on the products in question and receive extensive information about their entire production process, according to a report by Golf Business. Now, we talked about in, in the first video where I talked about uh, VeChain, there's some stuff in there, but I found this other video that might, you know, put a little bit more into perspective for you guys on how, it can, how it's going to operate in the real world. So relevant, relevant information will include product origin, data production, transportation data, ingredients, health and halal certifications, nutrition stats, and temperature data. So you're going to know everything about the food through scanning this QR code. Golf Business <clears throat> references a recent IBM Institute for Business survey, which revealed 73% of respondents sought better traceability methods for their products. Notably, 71% of the respondents said they were willing to pay extra for services that provided. The CEO of Majid al said trust and global food supply chains was becoming an important issue, once spurred on, on by the outbreak of uh, C-19. Trust in the food supply has become increasingly important worldwide a trend accelerated by changing consumer demands and the subsequent health and well-being concerns arising from the C-19 pandemic. Man, this man, this pandemic just, oh man, so much stuff as a result of this pandemic. Weiss, or Weiss, I think that's how you say that, said the use of blockchain technology would improve operational efficiency and build stronger customer trust and loyalty. It is therefore imperative for us to invest in ensuring quality throughout the value chain while simultaneously working to build robust customer trust and loyalty. In meeting the new market expectations, we are now offering enhanced food traceability for our value customers and improved operational eff efficiency for our business. Hmm. So IBM's food trust was first used by Kibifu in November 2019 when it leveraged the blockchain technology to track the supply chain for infants milk formulas. Sorry I have been used y'all. A 2020 report by Cointelegraph resulting in VeChain suggested 300 billion worth of food would be tracked and traced on the blockchain by 2027. In an industry surprisingly rife with fraud, the use of blockchain tech would reportedly save $100 billion a year by ensuring the products that land in stores are legitimate. Expected to be worth $300 billion by 2027. How many? Six years from now? Just getting started. Now let's get into this video that I want to show y'all. All right, now getting into the video that I want to show you. Um, here's an example of VeChain with the QR code business. Now I'm gonna have to talk. They got some little jazzy music in here, um, but I'm gonna have to talk so I don't get hit with no copyright. And then maybe just to for sure help with that, we're going to hit them with the like. We'll hit them with the subscribe and by the way if you have not liked it, this video or subscribed to this channel go ahead and help your boy out hit the like and the subscribe so open up the vchain app and well, scans qr code Gives you the product name, tells you all about it, it tells you where it came from. It came from Rhone Valley Producing. Um, you got the blockchain transaction information. And now this guy snaps a picture of the bottle. And 
now what he can do is he can add to where this is where this uh, he can add to the blockchain life of this product basically um, he just threw in there like look this is where it ended up so the person who you know put the vial together could be like oh it ended up with Noah scans a pair Okay. Information tells you what a pair is, in case you didn't know. Tells you it came from Shanghai, China. Hmm. Pretty dope, y'all. V Chain Foundation. Now, some of their videos are, you know, kind of technical. Every now and then, I find a, a nice little video like that that's good to talk about. And then, of course, we'll end with looking at the token. Uh, it's at 22 cents right now. Uh, last night I thought it had dropped down to 19 cents. Um, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just here to bring the news. But generally, if you're looking to start investing in something, you want to do it when it's red. Um, you don't want to buy stuff when it's pumping up. But V Chain, just to go over the exchanges where you can find V Chain, Binance. Binance, so you can get on Binance, either your USD Tether or Bitcoin. Again, Binance, if you live in the US, um, Binance is not open to folks in the US. So I would suggest finding VeChain on one that is. Uh, KuCoin and Binance.us via USD on Binance.us and then USD Tether on KuCoin. Binance.us is probably the easiest. That's where I um, typically buy my my VeChain. Uh, some people have their reserved feelings about Binance.us because uh, things aren't always instant clearance. Um, but VET is one of my long-term holds, so I don't really uh, mind waiting a few days for it to clear and then shipping it over to my Sync wallet. So I hope you enjoyed the video today. Um, my son is uh, breaking rooms and throwing mops and stuff outside, so I'm gonna go get to that. But before I do, as usual, we gonna end this one with a question: Would would these blockchain-based VR games be working so aggressively to integrate NFTs into their digital world? Would Salesforce with their CRM application be partnering with VeChain along with this $97 billion retail firm by the name of Chicken and Greens with this VeChain app where you can so conveniently scan a QR code and find out the whole history of the product exist. If blockchain and crypto wasn't about to become a large portion of the gaming and supply chain world, you know what my answer is. No, no, mm -mm. Mm -mm. no. No, 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 hell no, 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 I refuse, no, no. Aren't you, damn it? Why don't you piss your wife sick in the ass from another guy right now? <laughs> What's yours?